Welcome back. The lights have dimmed on day one for the state wrestling meet. The winner's bracket's now set. 336 wrestlers still have their dream alive of a first place finish and of that medal being around their neck. So here's a look at how the day unfolded, starting with the nightcap. Two A's opening round. To start the evening, we go to Andrew Flora at 126 pounds for ADM wrestling. Ethan Lemon of Harlan, Flora. Lands a reversal on his way to a 4-3 decision. At 138 pounds, Caleb Olenicek of Perry taking on Troy Schnathorst out of Carlisle. The Blue Jay gets a two-point takedown, and he's on to the quarterfinals with a 16-3 major decision. Connor Pellet out of Atlantic. He moves on to the winner's bracket with an 8-6 decision at 152 pounds. Now up to 160, PCM's West Cummings with a fall a minute 21 into the match, showing the Mustang fans a little love afterwards. I just pointed to the fans. I love the fans. We, the whole section 105, did you see that? The whole section was like on their feet. And they, they, we have a great fan base at PCM. And big things coming from this. It'll be awesome. Staying at 160, Skylar Nofsker out of Ballard with a takedown. He'd land a 9 3 decision to move on to 170 pounds now. Jackson Kinsella from Creston Wrestling, Van Meter Earlham, Sam Miller. Kinsella with three near fall points would eventually get the pin. Top ranked in two ways, 182 pound class is Kyler Fisher. Here he is with two near fall points. He would win with a major decision, 14 to 1. The last two years, you know, I didn't quite get the, the championship like I wanted, but this is my year. Heavyweights Derek Wire from Harlan gets a pin in the second period against PCM's Jace Smith. Good way to shake out any nerves for the senior. It feels really good. I was a little nervous at the beginning, and then getting that pin, it clears everything out. I'm not nervous anymore. ready to go. Now we'll look at the first round action from Class 3A and Class 1A. Matt McCulloch has those highlights. Last year's 113-pound champion, Nick Oldham from Valley returning. This year at 126, the future Ohio State Buckeye wins by fall, which is a key to a good start. I like to pin people, so usually if I get a first pin of the tournament, I can keep that momentum going all the way to the finals, and hopefully I do what I did last year. Des Moines East DeVille Dentis, a returning finalist, wins by fall in 145. The Scarlets overall went 4-0 in the opening round. Dentist is hungrier than ever before. That's all I wanted. You know, last year I came here with the goal and I didn't get there. You know, I went harder this summer. That's all I want now. I went harder this summer and I'm ready. Lance Runyon keeps his perfect record alive in 152, earning the win by fall over Urbandale's Owen Towers. Runyon's teammate, Cade DeVos, also keeps his undefeated record intact with a 17-4 major decision to advance in the 160-pound weight class. Oh, I just keep the pace, just keep going. I mean, sometimes things don't go your way, but if you stick to your stuff, good things happen. I mean, obviously that's probably, I probably could have scored a few points, but I tried, so who cares? A top 10 bout in 195, Javon Rowley from Johnston and Ethan Frazier from Ankeny Centennial. Frazier beat Rowley at the regionals, but today it's Rowley coming out on top. When he beat me at regionals, I was just like, I didn't deserve that loss, but I wasn't wrestling my best that day. And today I was just like, I gotta wrestle as hard as I possibly can. Really turned out, really turned out well. Over to class 1A, Martinsdale St. Mary's well represented sophomore Cale Cassidy and his brother Cole Cassidy, both winning in their opening bouts, advancing together yet again. Oh, it's really cool. We've been pushing each other since we were little. And to see we both get here, succeed, and do well is awesome. It's one of my favorite parts of being here with them. And last year's state champion in 170, Gabe Pauley from AHSTW, now wrestling in 182. Looks like he's back in business, having no problem advancing to the quarterfinals. Got caught last week, uh, and I'm back. And uh, I just want uh, everyone to give me a challenge, and I'm going to go out and give it my all, try to win another state championship. So let's run through the top five team scores in each class, starting in 3A. Waverly Shell Rock out to a strong start, sits in first. Southeast Polk just six and a half points back. Fort Dodge there in third. Cedar Rapids Prairie is fourth. Johnson fifth. 2A, closer race right now. West Delaware in first with 19 points. Solon in second with 18. PCM Monroe sits in third at 15 and a half points. Independence just a half point behind the Mustangs. Union just a half point behind Independence. And in class 1A, it's Don Bosco on top. Once again, Denver second. Underwood there in in third, Lisbon sits in fourth. West Sioux rounds out the top five. Still plenty of wrestling left over the next two days. They'll get